Hello everyone, my name is Li Hao. Welcome back to Introduction to Transitions. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use easing to add flares and add flavors to a svelte transition. So the first thing is, what is easing? So easing is a function that specifies the rate of change of the entire duration of your transitions. So there's a lot of uh, built-in easing functions from Svelte, and these are all of them, right? And you can visualize them through Ease Visualizer. Over here, we have Ease Visualizer open. What we're going to take a look at is, firstly, a quad ease in easing function. So this is the shape of the easing function. So on the x-axis is the time and the y-axis is the value of the animation that we are animating, right? So in this curve, if you play it again, you can see that how does it takes from the beginning point to reach the destination point, right? So different kind of easing functions have different kind of curve. For example, for this elastic, it moves towards the destination and goes further from it and goes all the way back up to the destination. So different easing functions will give you different kind of flavors in your transition. All right, so let's head back to the task list and let's try one of the easing function. To use easing, we're going to import it from the Svelte easing. So in this example, we're going to import bounce in out from Svelte easing. To use this, we're going to copy the name of the easing function and we're going to find one of the place where we have like... So in this case, we are going to add it in the fly where when the list items flies in, I'm going to add easing to be bounce ins out. So take a look at how it will look like now. So the element will fly, will bounce in when you fly in, right? Probably let me add this to have a longer distance for the element to fly in and probably that would be more obvious. Right, it says that there's, it's shaking over here. Uh, we can add slightly long duration to make it even more obvious. Right, so that gives us a different kind of, although we are using the same transition, which is to fly in from the right, but then with uh, easing functions, we can control how it flies from the source to the destination. So let me try another easing function. In, in this case, we are going to use sign out. I'm going to replace it over here and let's look at how it is different right now. It begins slow and then it accelerates and moves to the destination. If we remove this all the way, you'll find that the elements just fly in without any acceleration, right? So easing functions, you have a lot of different kind of easing functions that is built in from Svelte. You can import them from Svelte slash easing and the list of all the easing functions are specified in the Svelte docs and you can visualize them with Ease Visualizer. So that's all for this video. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at something more interesting, which is called Animate Flip. So thank you for staying till the end. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to stay notified with my next video, please hit the subscribe button down below. As always, stay safe and well. See you next time.